Hi all, it's Loki Fish Mars again. Today we're going to take a look at Eric DeBay's claims about Mercury and Venus and how they relate to reality. So let's get started. In the heliocentric model of the universe, our Sun is at the center of a solar system orbited by the planets in the order of Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Well, we're doing good so far. I mean, at least you got the planets right and the planets in order. So what does he have to say about Venus? When we film Venus two hours before sunrise or two hours after sunset, however, the reality is that the globe Earth would be 210 degrees away from the sun. Uh, last time I checked, uh, when I'm looking at Venus, the sun is not shining down on my back. But let's keep going. When looked at with an unprejudiced naked eye or through a telescope, the fixed and wandering stars appear as luminous disks of light, not spherical terra firma. The pictures and videos shown by NASA of spherical terra firma planets are all clearly fake computer-generated images and not photographs. Well, I'm starting to see a problem here. Are you sure about that? This is just one of hundreds of such proofs that you are not living on a tilting, wobbling, spinning space ball in a CGI solar system. That's what I thought. Okay. So what does reality have to say about that? We've taken a look at his claims, turned on the light of facts, closed our ears to his false truths, and taken a focused look at what he does. You need to ask yourself this. Why does he do this? I think it's to feed his ego with the praise of those he's fooled. Also, they can wait expectantly for his next serving of scraps. All in an effort to blind them to the beauty of our world and hide the wonders of our universe. <laughs> 